So in this video, I'm going to tell you how I grew a business's revenues by £700,000 in 18 months without a single cold call. Now, do not take this as I'm ripping people who cold call because that's not what this is about. I just couldn't handle, didn't want to, couldn't be asked doing cold calls. Whatever the reason is, I couldn't do it. There's a lot of fine people who do cold calling for a living. God bless you. I'm not digging or ripping into you whatsoever. But there are some people, me, and there are some businesses that cold calling really doesn't match and doesn't tally up with. And I'm one of those people and maybe you're one of those businesses watching. So I'm going to talk to you how I did it, uh, tell you a few things, how, tell you how the story works. And maybe you can pull some things out of this that will help you kill that cold calling and be more efficient in attracting and closing more clients. Are you ready for this? So we have to rewind 20 years. And before you say it, no, I was not seven years old when this happened. I'm a little bit older than that, despite my youthful good looks. Anyway, that's ridiculous. But uh, my humor is terrible, by the way. Um, so we rewind 20 years. I started a business and had some really made some really stupid decisions. Uh, the first stupid decision was I had one client. The second stupid decision was that client had cash flow problems. So I had this what for what was going for a while, really, really great business, but then suddenly when they couldn't pay me, I was in the shit. Now, that sorted itself out and they eventually paid all the balance back, but it took them a long time. So I went from business owner feeling great and doing well to actually, I just need to pay my bills. So I took a job in a small business, small family business as a salesperson. And uh, they needed a salesperson. I needed money. Perfect match. And then it came to, you know, the rubber hits the road and now I have to actually sell and I have to pick up that phone and call complete strangers and try and get them and convince them to hear me out and to pay a bit more attention. And I didn't like that thought. I didn't like the thought of having to figure this out. So, uh, but I also knew that if I didn't deliver the goods, I'd be out on my ear. No amount of being a nice person or getting on well with people would keep me if I didn't make sales. So I thought, well, how am I going to do this? I need the money. How am I going to do it without cold calling? And I'd psych myself up and have a go and then not have a go. You know what it's like. And then I came across two elements. Now, I'd heard about these and you'll have heard about these two elements before. Uh, but what I did is I coupled them together. So the first thing is the sales funnel. The sales funnel to me is completely broken because basically it starts wide and ends up narrow. And when you look at cold calling statistics or any form of marketing statistics, it's based on the fact that um, all marketing and sales eliminates people. It forces people to create a choice uh, and say yes or no. So, you know, if you cold call people, people say, no, not interested. Thanks. You wipe them off. You, if you do that, you wipe them off. Elimination till you get, you make 100 calls, you get two or three interested people. Yeah, that's the process. So I, I looked at different models and I looked at a, a model whereby you never eliminate people. You never eliminate people. There's no cold calling, but you never eliminate people. Uh, you get people to self-identify that they are interested. So you use tactics and strategies to employ, uh, attract people and, and give them interest. And you move them through the process and you will never speak to them until they show interest. So I like that idea because I didn't mind ringing people up who'd made an inquiry. I didn't mind ringing people up who wanted a quote. I didn't mind ringing people up or, or answering the phone to people who'd made uh, shown interest or an inbound inquiry. It was just that cold bit. So I thought, well, what, what if I adopt this model that I've seen where they just the whole strategy is about warming people up and creating interest and moving them down? And then I coupled it with the five P's of resonance, the five P's of resonance, which is another thing that I've learned over the years. I can't claim kind of IPO over these because they're out there, but I coupled them together in a way that's really worked for me. So the five P's of resonance are the pain, 
the promise, the picture, the proof and the pitch. These are the things that you need to have as a component of any sales pitch. Pain, promise, picture, proof and pitch. And when I map these five P's against my clients that I'm looking to do business with and then transplant that onto the map of, of getting people interested and then changing the process, I found it worked really, really well. Because I was informing the market that I was looking to do business with about how we could help them. But it was so relevant, the response rates, the engagement, the inbound inquiries really started to climb. And there's no clever technology in this. You can use a you can do this the old school way or the digital way or a mix of both. But the one key thing out of those five P's of resonance was pain. And I'm just going to focus on the pain for today because there's not enough time to do this and you'll fall asleep if, uh, you know, I said it was a short video. Um, if you don't understand your customer's pain and if you can't articulate your customer's pain in a way that they understand, you will never get their attention. Yes, you can pick up the phone and pester them in the hopes that you'll get their attention for a little while. But if you really want to prick their attention, if you really want to arrest their attention to you and get them to focus on you, you have to be able to understand and articulate the pain that they face. So uh, I could go into this for hours and I do. I package this into a, an actual course that we deliver for businesses. But the pain is the reason we take action. It's the reason we do things when we choose to stop living with a problem. It's because the pain has become so much that somebody goes, enough is enough. And that pain manifests itself in lots of different ways. It's not just a, a, sick, a case of somebody needs to save money. It's often about things that are clogging up their time. It's a frustration. It's a niggle. And this whole process of the five P's allows you to tap into that, communicate how the value you can give, the difference you can make how you can be trusted. One of the biggest things in sales is trust. And the, the process we built, Client Attraction, actually shows you how you can build trust with people before they've even spoke to you, before they even know you. Um, so this is the whole model. Pain, promise, picture, proof and pitch. The five P's of resonance. And if you put them into any process, whether it be uh, uh, an article, a sales pitch, a presentation, a PowerPoint, a phone call even, they, as long as you know your customer well enough, they will get their attention and get them interested. And I've seen this work on email. I've seen this work on Facebook ads. I've seen it work in social media posts. I've seen it work in direct mail. And then the beauty of knowing those five P's of resonance, knowing your customer, and then transplanting that onto a completely different sales model that's not funnel a uh, funnel at all really allows you to structure your whole process to bring people closer to the sale. And I've worked this brilliantly. I've closed um, an outsourcing deal. I went to work for an outsourcing company for two years and without any phone calls, just a PowerPoint presentation and email. I got a meeting and then uh, after uh, there was a few meetings involved, but I followed the five P's. Um, we closed a one million pound outsourcing contract with no cold call, just literally an email structured well, a great PowerPoint that followed this process and a meeting. Now, there's subsequent meetings, but I never deviated from the five P's or the uh, model of sales. And it served me well for the last 20 years. Uh, and every day I, I learn a new way to put things into it. But uh, effectively, what you need, if you want to quit the cold calling, if you want to be able to build a process, a repeatable process to attract new interested clients who are warm and interested, not just like people who fill in an inquiry form, people who are hot and interested, you need to grab hold of the five P's of resonance and the client attraction strategy model that we're building.
and we've built for clients in their business. So if you're interested in how this works in practicalities, um, you can go to the link in the description of this video and book in and I'll give you a full one to one small group session of how to transplant this into your business. Um, my promise to you is I will show you how you can prick the attention of your ideal clients and get them get them interested in what you've got to offer. It will turn some things on its head for you, but if you implement it and keep working that process, you will not have a problem finding new customers. You will have a problem of how you manage the customers and how you deal with it and how you deliver on the promises you're putting out to the world, how you fulfill uh, what do they say? How you uh, under promise and over deliver. And if you can do that, coupled with a client attraction strategy, you will rock. So uh, if you want to know more, the link's there. Take a look. And if you want to book in, we can help you implement how this works for your business. Thank you for watching.